In all my years of off-roading, I've noticed a very common theme. It doesn't matter if you've got a tube chassis rock bouncer, a modified Jeep, or you go off-roading in an Ultra 4 car, a lot of times guys' brakes are terrible. So today on Rock Rods Tech, we're gonna teach you how to stop that from happening. So today's episode is going to be basically all revolving around HydroBoost. And there's a couple reasons why you might want HydroBoost versus any, any other type of brake system. First of all, if you have a positive displacement engine like a supercharged engine that doesn't create vacuum down low, then you're going to have to have HydroBoost or else you won't have brakes whenever you're on the gas crate and boost. Another reason is those big vacuum boosters, they're just ugly. They're huge, they're hard to package, they're really ugly, and they don't really work that well when it's all said and done. Third is a manual brake system can be very difficult to get right. There's a lot of trial and error that goes into it, a lot of mathematics and things, but if you grab a HydroBoost unit, plumb it in your system, and you do what we're talking about in this video, I can guarantee you that you'll have great brakes at the end. So how does a HydroBoost system like this work? Well, first of all, you've got your pressure line from your power steering pump that goes into the HydroBoost unit. From there, it goes on its regular journey throughout your power steering system. But if you have a HydroBoost plumbed in line, what it does is it uses the pressure from your power steering unit to push extra pressure on your master cylinder whenever you hit the brakes. So what that means is that with very little input force from your foot on the brake, it's going to multiply that force and make your vehicle stop easier. Off-road vehicles have big, oversized off-road tires. And because of that, the tire has a lot more leverage over your braking system, plus there's a lot more weight. The HydroBoost unit multiplies the amount of force that you push on the brake pedal out to the brakes themselves and makes the vehicle stop easier. For instance, a lot of guys who call us up who have bad manual brake systems are requiring at least 200 pounds of force on the brake pedal to stop the vehicle. Now you can get better with your manual system, but what the key thing is about the HydroBoost is that brake force is multiplied a ton coming out the other side. So it might only take you 30 pounds of force to stop the same vehicle that used to take 200. So because we have these big off-road tires in our vehicles, we have to have high pressure, high volume power steering pumps. And if you try to take a power steering pump that's like that and run it through a HydroBoost unit that's factory, it creates a restriction. And that restriction can cause your pump to fail, it can cause excessive heat. But what we do is we go in and we high volume port these things. And that allows us to run a high volume pump through the HydroBoost unit without a restriction. You're gonna receive three parts with our kit. You're gonna have a pedal, laser cut, nicely welded, with a little pivot down here that bolts directly to the HydroBoost unit. This gets cut off and it gets threaded to fit right here inside this clevis. Then this plate gets removed and this welds into your buggy and you end up with a very, very nice Willwood brake master cylinder that comes out here in the front, as you can see right behind me. Our kit has a high quality master cylinder from Willwood because the last thing you want is a rusty looking stock factory style master cylinder up here in the front of your really high quality nice buggy. The other cool thing about it is that the brake lines can come off of either side. So instead of having your brake lines hanging off the left hand side for everybody to see, you can tuck them up nice and neat around the back side of the frame. Plumbing your HydroBoost unit is fairly easy. First thing you wanna do is make sure that your HydroBoost unit is before your steering system. So you always wanna make sure that your power steering pressure line comes from your pump and it's gonna go on the fitting right here on the side of the right of the HydroBoost unit. So if you're sitting in the driver's seat, it's gonna be the one on the right. You want your hoses on the top. The only reason for that is all your bubbles that get inside are going to come to the top and get pushed off. The return line is gonna be this little guy right here that comes off the top. It's gonna to have a standard little nipple on it and it gets plumbed back to your reservoir. You wanna make sure that you keep that little hole small. You don't go in there and drill that thing out. That thing's designed to hold pressure back in the unit so that it's not killing your steering. Another thing that we see a lot of times is guys just accidentally hook these things up backwards. If you hook them up backwards when you start the vehicle, your pedal will go all the way down to the floor because you're basically putting pressure on the wrong side of the piston. 
So in the box, we always have a little diagram that shows where the lines are at. If you don't know where the lines are at or can't find your little diagram inside the box, just give us a shout, watch this video, and we can help you out. This line is the pressure coming from your power steering pump. This line is the one that continues on to your steering. Our kit comes with dash eight fittings, same thing as a half inch JIC. Make sure that when you plumb the system, you're running at least that size line. Do not put a smaller line on that hydrous unit. So one of the questions we got on Facebook were just how big the unit is. And so we wanted to show you guys basically what a unit looked like put all together and then kind of describe what the dimensions are. So this is what it looks like with the Hydroboost unit attached to the pedal. Now you're gonna have a master cylinder that sticks out over here and we'll get to that in just a second. But what I wanted to show you was basically how the pedal attaches because you've got two different places that the pedal can pivot from and that changes where the actual pedal is in relation to the bracket. The next thing I wanted to show you was basically just how big it is overall with the master cylinder attached. And if we measure from the mounting bracket to the end of the master cylinder, we're at 14 inches. So that's how much would be sticking out of your firewall would be 14 inches. And the overall length is 20 and a quarter. And that's basically from the edge of the master cylinder to the edge of the bracket. Now, if you're in a situation where you don't have the room to handle a hydro boost unit like this, we do have the ability to remote mount these and we've done it before in the past. Uh, we did one on a buggy called Gold Rush where we used a push-pull cable and it worked really, really well, but our newest version uses a small slave cylinder, a brake line, and then another master cylinder that actually pushes the hydro boost unit and you can mount the hydro boost unit wherever you want to. So if space is a concern, make sure you just give us a call and let us know and we can hook you up with that remote mount kit. Another question we have is, if my motor dies, do I lose my brake system? And the answer is no. You still have a manual brake system if your engine dies. But the great thing about HydroBoost is that it stores energy in this little part right here. This is called your accumulator. And so if your engine dies, you still have full brakes for one or two more pumps before you go back to what's just manual brakes. And it's no different than if you just had a master cylinder hooked directly to the pedal. Basically, the HydroBoost unit just doesn't do any multiplication. So if you've got crappy brakes in your off-road vehicle, go to bustedknuckleoffroad.com, check out our HydroBoost units, and you'll be well on your way to better brakes. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Take 1,000. That was terrible. We're gonna teach you how to stop that from happening. <laughs> Every beer. What was I gonna say? <laughs> really make your plumbing look great. <laughs> Just give us a call at bustedknuckleoffers.com. <laughs> so, plumbing. So, I say so all the time. You're telling me nothing. I don't know. I have to edit it out every video. <laughs>